I was trying to figure out why is it that so many people, they would email me or text me and say, Dr. Ian, I'm eating correctly. I'm exercising correctly, but I can't get the scale to move. And as I'm doing this research, I come across this term called metabolic flexibility. I didn't create it, but I came across it. Imagine a hybrid car. A hybrid car has a battery and it has gas. And when the battery runs out, then the gas kicks in and you can still drive the car. A traditional combustion engine car that's operated by gas only has gas as a fuel source. Once the tank is empty, happening many times, the car stops, okay? Yeah. Now, take those two examples. The hybrid car is considered to be metabolically flexible. It can burn or use different fuel sources. The gas engine car is metabolically inflexible. It can only use one fuel. Well, in our bodies, two of the biggest fuels we like to use to burn are carbs and fats. Some people can burn carbs really well and not do great with fats. Some can burn fats really well, not do well with carbs. We are metabolically inflexible. So the key with my program, the Metflex diet, is I want to take six weeks and unstick your metabolism and make you flexible so that whether you're having a carb-rich meal, you can burn it, or you're having a heavy fat meal, you can burn it. That is metabolic flexibility. So the question is, how do we become more metabolically flexible? There are four things off the top. One, this sounds boring to people, better sleep, believe it or not. Better sleep hygiene makes you more metabolically flexible. Number two, diet. You have to eat a certain type of diet. For example, cycling in and out of keto, cycling in and out is very good for improving your metabolic flexibility. I'll get into that in a second. Number three, exercise uh, is extremely helpful. And number four, intermittent fasting. So those are four things that can help unstick your metabolism and make you more flexible. The diet piece in the, the book, it's a six week program, but from the diet piece, the idea is to carb load, then go into ketosis, then come out of it in carb load and go back in ketosis. So it's cycling in and out of ketosis, not staying there for a long period of time. I'm not a keto supporter, long-term keto for a lot of reasons, but cycling in and out of keto will give you the benefits without, in my opinion, put you at risk of some of the long-term consequences. 